How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Spider and today I've got JJDL week number four for you all uh, going up against Dashing Sceptile and the Seattle Sigilyph. Now we are one and two uh, so I would love to get a win here and get back up to even so that we can you know stay in the playoff uh, race I guess stay competitive stay relevant. My opponent's team consists of Great Tusk, Thunderous Therian, Ogre Pond, Wellspring, Cinderace, Iron Crown, Grimstar, Gudra, Houndstone, Quillfish, and Munchlax. His Terra Captains are Thunderous Therian and Munchlax. Of course, Free Terra makes this uh, a bit tough. He also changed his team uh, from last week. He had, had an Ursa Ring and he changed that to, uh, he dropped Ursa Ring and uh, got Houndstone and Terra Munchlax, which is really, really annoying because Houndstone is very good uh, against Sneasler. Mainly because he can Psychic Fangs. If he doesn't bring Psychic Fangs, we're good. But if he does, uh, that, that's that's an issue. Great Tusk is always going to be a problem. So we, we've we've prepped for that. It gets Ice Spinner, which is really annoying for Gliscor. Uh, of course, Thunderous, I, he can do anything. I'm expecting uh, Terra Ice, Water, or Fighting. If he wants to have the 100% accurate Fighting type moves, he would go Terra Fighting, which makes sense to me. The problem with Terra Ice is that Thick Fat uh, Mammoth Swine deals pretty well with Thunderous in that case. Of course, he could run Focus Blast, but uh, if he ends up missing them, you know, obviously that's a problem for him. Cinderace is really annoying because it can just, it's fast and it can, you know, you turn around, it can, it gets the proper coverage for a lot of things on my team. Ogre Pond Wellspring has been very difficult to deal with if it gets a Sword Stance up. Gutra doesn't really intimidate me that much. Quillfish and Houndstone don't, uh, outside of Sneasler, obviously. Uh, Grimstar could be annoying with Prankster stuff. For the most part, it's mainly just going to be Great Tusk, Thunderous, Ogre Pond, and uh, Cinderace. To be honest, those are the those are the big uh, problems for me. If he brings all four, um, that's that's quite annoying. So first up, we have Air Balloon Golden Go. Uh, now, this is obviously nice for the Great Tusk. Uh, I do expect him to bring some sort of coverage for Gliscor, probably. Well, probably Ice Spinner. But if he doesn't bring Ice Spinner, if he's like a Rapid Spin Bulk Up Dual Stab Set. Golden Go completely walls him. I think he will be prepared for that because, again, it is a relatively uh, common thing if Golden Go versus Great Tusk. Our EVs are 248 HP, 128 defense, 92 special attack, and 40 speed with a bold nature. The speed will help us to, you know, potentially outspeed a Great Tusk. If he doesn't bring any speed, we can outspeed it, which is great. Shadow Ball, Recover, and Nasty Plot. I don't really need anything else. Again, this is a Pokemon, it, it, it's very, it can be good, but it just hasn't really done much for me in mocks. Um, Cinderace is a big problem. Uh, it, it takes physical hits decently well. Like I may be able to take a headlong rush or an earthquake and make it rain. That's just, it's crucial chip on Great Tusk. That's all it is. It's crucial chip. If he wants to switch into a Gudra, that's fine. Again, Gudra doesn't really scare me too much. It's also a Pokemon that can kind of threaten out Houndstone if he brings it. I know that Houndstone can hit me uh, with like a Poltergeist or a Shadow Sneak, uh, but He's not going to really want to take that trade, I don't think, because Houndstone is, assuming he doesn't bring Houndstone and Quillfish, Houndstone will be his best thing to deal with Sneasler. If I can get a Nasty Plot off, that would be great, but most likely not. We're, we're here to chip Great Tusk, uh, and if not Great Tusk, then hopefully three other Pokemon. I'm bringing Tentacruel this week uh, because I think it has a good defensive matchup. I am just physically defensive with Sludge Bomb, Knockoff, Toxic, and Flip Turn. It is a little bit risky that I'm not bringing Rapid Spin, but I, I think that it's... I think that is okay because I don't really see him bringing hazards on anything here. I don't see Stealth Rocks on Great Tusk. And if he brings Toxic Spikes on Quillfish, uh, I can just absorb those anyway. So I really feel like the Sludge Bomb there is important because it allows me to actually hit uh, Ogre Pond with something. Uh, because if I can't hit Ogre Pond uh, and it just Sword Stance on me, even if I Toxic, it's just it, it's a bad situation. I have Liquid Ooze just in case he is Leech Seed or Horn Leech on that Ogre Pond. Toxic is nice just for certain things like the Grim Snarl or the Gudra with the Houndstone, a flip turn for moment momentum, knock off for knocking off items, and uh, that's Tentacruel, physically defensive. I will likely lead with this just to kind of see what my opponent wants to do because uh, it's just a decent lead against a lot of things. All right, uh, we're bringing Dawn back again, Choice Scarf, uh, yet again. Now, I did have a Trailblaze set for the longest time. I switched it to Choice Scarf because uh, it, there are very few situations in which I can actually get a Trailblaze off and not die. Um, so I have Terra Fairy with Trick, Psychic, Alluring Voice, and Shadow Ball. Having a plus one speed uh, on this Espeon is huge. The EVs are 72 HP, max special attack, 184 speed with Modest Nature. Uh, we outspeed a Thunderous, who is uh, running Modest pretty much, 
It's a little bit like, uh, I guess a little bit risky, but if he runs timid, he shouldn't Oko us with anything. Maybe Sludge Wave, assuming I'm Terra Fairy at that point. Uh, I kind of needed Shadow Ball just for the Iron Crown. If he does bring Iron Crown, which I have not seen it in a single mock, it's also nice for Houndstone, to be honest, uh, because any chip on that thing is, is lovely. Outside of that, uh, Psychic plus Fairy uh, does pretty well against this team. Uh, your Steel type as Iron Crown is pretty tough because it can't really recover itself very well. He has no Wish Passer, and it, it's just, it's not really the bulkiest. It is bulky for an offensive Pokemon. I'll put it that way. I think Hydreigon uh, looks really cool in game. I've never seen, I don't know why its eyes look like that, uh, but it, it's pretty cool. Uh, it also has a cool matchup. His fairy type is Grimmsnarl. Uh, and outside of that in Iron Crown, there's really nothing here to take a dragon type move. Uh, I I just, I made it this. <laughs> I made it a sub, sub Salic with Nasty Plot, Dragon Pulse and Belch. Belch will obviously hit the Grimmsnarl, which is great. Uh, it also just does better damage, so if he wants to predict, like, if he wants to scout for the Flash Cannon and switch in, like, a Gudra or something, Belch will do more. Uh, it's 120 base power. You can only use it after consuming a berry. So the plan is just to sub, sub, sub. I'll get up, down to 25%. That will pop my Salic. So I have an even number of HP. And once I'm at 93 HP, my Salic will pop. I'll get the speed boost. Hopefully at that point, I, at that point, I have a nasty plot up, and we can just kind of go to town. His only priority is uh, Houndstone Shadow Sneak and Cinderace Sucker Punch, and I guess Quillfish Aqua Jet. All three of those are resisted, and Grimstar can't use priority moves against me because I am a Dark type. So uh, I think Hydreion has a pretty cool matchup here, to be honest. Uh, if I'm able to sweep, that'll be cool. It's either this or the next Pokemon as far as sweeping capabilities. Next up is Sneasler. Uh, we've got a Citrus Berry again with Bulk Up Substitute Acrobatics Close Combat. I have bulk up because it helps me to uh, potentially live a, a move from Quillfish behind a substitute. So let's say I go for a bulk up as he brings in Quillfish. He's got Intimidate, so I'm going to stay at uh, neutral attack, but I have the plus one defense. I substitute on the potential Thunder Wave. If he does Thunder Wave there, I can bulk up the following turn, uh, and then Liquidation should never break my sub. Acrobatics is nice because once I pop my Citrus, uh, Great Tusk will be weak. Uh, it, Acrobatics is doing a lot, and then Great Tusk. Uh, does not enjoy that hit. Uh, Gooey could be a little bit annoying on Gudra, so that's something to consider. But again, uh, you know, it's not the bulkiest on the physical side. And, you know, if, if we get, as long as it's only one speed drop, we should be fine. It might not work out the way I want it to, but if I'm able to late game, you know, just get a Citrus Pop and then just kind of Oko things because they're chipped, uh, that's kind of the idea with this. Last but not least, we have uh, Mamoswine, another Assault Vest set. <laughs> we are Terra Bug, so. That's kind of funny just because bug is such a bad type but in this matchup it kind of makes sense because if he is terror fighting i could just uh, go with terror bug that way i'll always you know take any one hit from thunders easily probably maybe even two depending on the set um, we are just earthquake ice school crash ice shard and trailblaze i'm not really going to be using trailblaze to be honest i haven't used it a single time in mox defense boost from fluffy because it's not a contact move and neither is earthquake actually so uh, that's great hits quillfish super effectively hits gudra hits cinderace iron crown uh, Thunders before Terra's, maybe even after Terra's, Great Tusk. All these Pokemon get hit, hit super effectively. The EVs are max HP, 188 attack, and 72 speed with an adamant nature. I just realized um, that my Sneasler does not have full EVs. It's missing like 80, so I'm definitely going to do something with that. Uh, I'm not too sure what I was thinking there. It's actually funny because I wouldn't even have realized if I didn't um, notice that I didn't read off the EVs from Sneasler. So that's gonna be the team. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little team builder. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the battle right, cut the video right here, and uh, I will see you guys in the battle. All right, here we are in the battle, uh, going up against Stashing Sceptile. He has a Terra Flying Thunderous, so that is something to keep in mind. It means we almost will never be terrestrializing our Mamoswine. Let's see, he brings Houndstone, Ogre Pond, Thunderous, Great Tusk, Gudra and Cinderace, so no Quillfish, uh, no Grimstarl, which is great, no Iron Crown, no Munchlax. I think my designated lead will just be Tentacruel, uh, because nothing really eats a Toxic here, and if he wants to lead Thunderous, uh, that's fine. Tentacruel has been my lead in all my mocks, and the mocks, to be honest, have not gone too well. I'm not feeling overly confident here. All right, good luck, have fun to uh, Mr. Dashing Sceptile. Big Kieran fan, as we can see, uh, with the profile pick there or whatever you want to call it. He's going to lead Hopscorch, the Cinderace. This is pretty ideal. He could have Zen Headbutt as well, but if he has Zen I think he has Court Change, to be honest. I think that's a, a, a bring. Maybe not. I don't know. That thing is U-turn super free. I don't really want to switch in case 
he doesn't have Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt's pretty obscure. Uh, I would love to just get a Toxic off on something. Uh, most likely that Gudra. That's just Toxic. Uh, he does go for U-Turn, so he's going to get the Libero boost. That did a lot. 23%. That's that's a lot of damage. Yeah, he's Boots. I mean, he's Banded. He's Jolly Banded. He may even be Adamant Banded, but I would assume he's going to be Jolly. Goop. That's obviously Gudra. So... As long as he's not Lum, we're going to land this, and we'll be good to go. I don't really want to take an Earthquake here. I could also just Flip Turn. I think I outspeed this anyway. Is it really worth going for Flip Turn here? Draco seems relatively free. I want to keep Mamoswine healthy for the Thunderous. I think Golden Go is my uh, least, I guess, valuable. Is it worth it? Yeah, we'll go for Flip Turn on the off chance he doubles. Okay, so he, he doesn't have any speed. Uh, it's Chip, though, so uh, we do also reveal he's Gooey, which is important. I'm going to make the switch into Golden Go and hope he clicks Earthquake. Again, if he pops my balloon, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I think having the air balloon on this thing is... He'll probably expect it anyway. Okay, he clicks Knockoff. I kind of forgot this Pokemon got Knockoff, but uh, it's a good good play for him. Uh, Shadow Ball seems pretty free here, to be honest. It's free, but like it doesn't do that much damage to things. I'm not very invested. I think he goes Cinderace, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to Shadow Ball. Okay, he stays in. Interesting. What does he click here? We should be able to live any one hit. Oh, guess we're Dragon Tail. Okay. So I wish I make it, made it rain, uh, but what can you do? I guess I could have calc that knockoff as well, but I didn't. He's <laughs> um, gonna bring me into Tentacruel. This is fine. By using it, you, you do you are affected by, like the the knockoff gets boosted. So um, he's gonna go off. Now I could go for a recover if I bring in Golden Go. I do want some sort of chip on the Cinderace. I don't want it to come in for free. Um, especially because it's banded. I'm pretty sure it's going to Oko us with a Pyro Ball. Yeah, that's easily Okoing us. Um, he's really low. I, I don't know that he keeps this around. I don't think I can kill with Make It Rain. Uh, and, and I also, like I said, I don't think Recover does me much, even if he dies to Toxic here. Although I don't want to get solo to then die to a U-turn. Okay, I'm going to Recover just because I kind of want to force... He is going to switch. Don't go into Cinderace. Oh my god, I could have gone for a Shadow Ball. Oh. That's tough. Well, I think that the Tentacruel switching is so obvious that I don't really want to do it. Um... And because of it, I really need Tentacruel healthy for that Ogre Pond. He Flare Blitzes. Okay, so he's got Flare Blitz over Pyro Ball. Probably to ensure that he hits. Uh, he will take Recoil here, though. So that's pretty valuable Recoil. Pretty valuable chip. Shadow Ball would not have knocked knocked him out there, but it would have been would have done some pretty great damage. Unfortunately for me. I think I'll go probably just Tentacruel and and just flip turn, because he doesn't stay in for sure. Uh, and I think he goes Gudra there, which is fine. Um, uh, in all likelihood, he just sacks Gudra here. Goop. So, uh, I, I pretty much traded Gudra, or, yeah, I pretty much traded Gudra for Golden Go, which I don't really like. I could bring in Ice here and just click Earthquake. Um, that's relatively free. It actually does take a Flare Blitz from full health, so... Uh, I think that's our play. I could also go Espeon. I think I bring in Mamoswine here. I, I do. Because um, it was either it was either this or um, or the freaking Espeon. I want to keep Espeon healthy because honestly, Choice Scarf Espeon goes so crazy right now uh, against this team. And we pick off Gudra. Am I a female Mamoswine? I think the horns are smaller. I think this is a female mammoth one. Not that it really matters, but... Here's the Ogre Pond. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. If he goes straight away for the I Ivy Cudgel, we're, we're, we're in a predicament if we go if we stay in here. I'm still going to go Tentacruel. I think that it's a safer play. Still going to go Tentacruel. Because if he is Woodhammer, he's going to take a lot of chip. I have a feeling he's going to be Woodhammer over Power Whip, since he's Flare Blitz over Pyro Ball with Cinderace. It's pretty much... I mean, that's just what it is. He does sword stance. <laughs> of course, he sword stances. And if he's power whip, he's power whip. But this is my play all along. He is horn leech perfect. We are liquid ooze. 
So he's going to drop here, which is beautiful. So Tentacle doing its job. This is why I put Sludge Bomb on it. This is exactly why I put Sludge Bomb on it. Yeah, I, I actually, it's funny because it says Power Whip on the Calc. I, I only went against Horn Leeches and Wood Hammers uh, in, in, in Mox. So he could be Substitute. I, I, I suppose that is a potential. I don't really see the point in keeping this Pokemon around. I think he's going to Terra Blast, to be honest. I think that kills me. Uh, yep, let's just stay in and uh, flip turn. There's the Terra. Not surprised. Now, if this is Timid Scarfed, it actually will outspeed my Espeon. But if it is Timid Scarfed, it doesn't actually knock me out, so... Um, yeah. Probably see a Terra Blast there. There it is. This should knock me out. I mean, I guess I'll calc just in case there's any... I mean, what am I at? I don't have... Yeah. Yeah, that's always going to knock me out. If he's not locked in, he could obviously Focus Blast. Focus Blast should never knock us out there, though. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go this Pokemon, I think. I mean, it's literally here for the Thunder, so I don't know what I'm tripping about. Oh, boy. I think he goes Cinderace. I really do. Um, I don't think there's any way you stay in. You don't really know my set. I could be Scarfed. Uh, and if you're Scarfed, you're not staying in. So I think I do just Earthquake here, because he could also go Houndstone, in which case Trailblaze is useless. So let's go ahead and Earthquake. There's the swap. I would love to get Cinderace here. That's big. That's big. We take out the Bandit Cinderace. That's huge. Too many times I've clicked Ice Shard and Mox just for the Cinderace to come in and claim a kill. Too many times. Not today. Might become a problem. I'm not sure. He goes back into Tobias. So I don't know if this is like Specs or what. Oh yeah, so Specs knocks me out with a Grass Knot. I could Terrastalize. Do I need Terra Fairy for anything? Uh, at this point, I I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and Terrastalize. Ice Coat Crash will always knock this out. Also two Ice Shards knock him out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Terra Bug. Because like I said, if he has Specs, um, then we, we've got a problem on our hands for sure. So I think this is the move. I'm gonna Ice Shard just because it two hit KOs him. Um, he's gonna tear. What? Why? Why? Why would you Terra Blast there? Wow. Okay. Bro, Terra Blast never kills my Why would you just sacrifice this thing? <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Dude, if I'm max HP, you just what? That's insane. Oh. I'm still going to Ice Shard. <laughs> He's going to switch. Wow. That's insane. That's just insane to me. I should have clicked Ice Go Crash, but of course, I didn't want to get smoked there. We could go, um, we could just stay in, I think, because he can't, he can't boost his speed twice here. So, um, you could bulk up all you want. I don't really care. I'm just going to get Chip on you, I think. Just going to Ice Shard. Brings you a little bit closer to destruction. He's gonna knock off. Good thing I didn't switch. Um, Terra Bug Mammoth Swine Man. I really thought that was the right play. I don't know. I really thought that was the right play. Going out there, Espeon. Do your do your stuff. So I can't Terra now. Which is a bit a bit sad. A bit sad. I'm gonna go ahead and psychic, because uh, there's no reason not to. Do your worst. Boom. Okay. This Pokemon's down. I don't think he can go Thunderous. I think he has to go Houndstone. And I think he has to Poltergeist. Tobias. So he's got to be Timid Scarfed here. Um, and if he is, we can just switch into Hydreigon afterwards. He is Timid Scarfed. Okay. Does it... I'm... Yeah. Okay. Houndstone. If he's physically defensive, he should take a lot of damage from this. About half, actually. About half. About half. A little over half. That's cool. I don't think there's any reason to keep Espeon around because it doesn't outspeed the um, Thunderous. What if I was just timid? I, I, I don't get that, but okay. Okay, he doesn't have to. Listen. Sweet. Okay, so this drops. 
And now he'll just Terra Blast, I believe. Espeon, you did your thing. Um, I'm gonna drop to this, and then I could just go Hydreigon. And I don't think in your wildest dreams you knock me out. Actually, I could go for Substitute. I, oh wait, no, because if he... He'll still outspeed me even with the Salak. So, uh, let's just Dragon Pulse. We should always knock this out. Yeah. Dragon Pulse, go. Do your worst, Thunderous. And that should be it. GG's to Deceptile. That was a strange game. I'm just going to be honest. That was a strange one. Uh, my, my Sneasel was useless. No belching for me. Again, like... If I just brought Timid, Scarfed, Expanding Force Espeon, it would have went insane. Eventually, I'm going to catch on. And eventually, my opponents will catch on and start bringing their damn dark types. We got the win. Back in the win column, we are 2-2 uh, two and two with a plus 2 differential, which is pretty funny. I just uploaded week 1 of a new league I'm in on Thursday, last Thursday, so make sure you go check that one out. I'll try to remember to leave a card uh, there. Alright, that's it from me. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And... I'll see you guys in the next one.